I hate that. I hate pausing when a phone call comes in because then I have to start recording all over again, which means now I have to edit. Ugh. Um, but yeah, so she's, she's doing her job. She's absolutely doing her job by repeating the same thing over and over again. But she's not helping me, the customer, because she's just repeating the same thing over and over again. So... Those are my two financial hiccups, or a hiccup and a catastrophe that has ha that have happened today, and I'm just like, I'm not going to ask the obvious question, but I have prayed and said, Lord, whatever is going on, I need you to fix it, because clearly it's out of my hands. There's nothing that I can do. So. That's my prayer, and I hope that it happens, that he rectifies it. That, well, I not hope. I know that he will. I know that he will fix it. I know that he will fix it. So, I am now home. I'm going to go in the house and deal with the husband who is agitated with me because he couldn't find some paperwork that he wanted because he missed a very important appointment when he was in the hospital last week and instead of him calling them to tell them that he was in the hospital he waited until they sent him a letter saying that he was going to miss out on some benefits because he did not make his appointment so he was supposed to call them today he wanted me to call them but I'm like why am I calling them I can't call them about this this is you um and that's one of the things that we had a disagreement about over the weekend because he gives me stuff to do that I, some some of these things I can't do. He has to do them. But anyway, so he wanted me to make the call and I told him I couldn't. It, it, he had to make the call. So he was upset about that. So that's where we left things, that he was going to make the call. Well, he decides after I get to work that he's going to go to the office just show up and he was going to take them the paperwork to prove that he was in the hospital and that's why he missed this very important appointment well right now I'm at work and I don't know where that paperwork is because I'm at work so he's upset because he couldn't go to the office when I told him he should just you should just call that's what you said you were going to do you were going to call what if you had gone to the office and then they opted not to see you it's a waste of time and a waste of gas oh lordy b so now i gotta deal with that and i'm going to try to finish what i started while i was at work because it was a really slow work day which allowed me time to do um this other thing and then tomorrow, my supervisor has a doctor's appointment. So I'm going to take her to her doctor's appointment because she can't drive. If you remember, I told you she had this operation, this procedure done on her aneurysm. And whatever they did uh, blocked the blood flow to a vessel in her eye. And now she can't see at all out of one eye, her left eye and she is declared she was declared legally blind in her right eye before all of this happened so she can't drive and she's got these appointments so yeah i'm going to take her to her appointment tomorrow one of her appointments tomorrow and um yeah we'll see how that goes so with that Peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you.